Welcome to our square root lesson. What is a square root? The square root of a number is a value that can be multiplied by itself to give the original number. To explain that, here we have the square root of 9 is 3 because when 3 is multiplied by itself, you get 9. So for the example, 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Now how to find square root of a number? Example, what is the square root of 16? We can start by asking, what number can we multiply by itself to get 16? To help you, think of the root of a tree. I know the tree, which is 16, but what root made it? In this case, the tree is 16 and therefore the root is 4. The square root of 16 is 4 because when 4 is multiplied by itself, we get back the original number 16. This is a symbol that means square root. The square root of 16 is written as so here we have the symbol with our 16 inside. So we say the square root of 16 is 4. Now let's find the square root of each. So first let's find the square root of 25. Our square root of 25 is 5. Because 5 multiplied by 5 would give us 25. Our square root of 49, we have 7. 7 times 7 is equal to 49. So what's the square root of 36? 6. So 6 times 6 would be equal to 36. Now, some of the important properties of the square root are as follows. If a number is a perfect square number, then there exists a perfect square root, just like we saw with the finding square root of 25, which was 5, square root of 49, which was 7, square root of 36, which was 6. Another property, if a number ends with an even number of zeros, then it can have a square root. The two square root values can be multiplied. For example, uh, the square root 3 can be multiplied by square root 2. Then the result should be square root 6. When two same square roots are multiplied, then the result should be a radical number. It means that the result is a non-square root number. If a number ends with 2, 3, 7, or 8 in the ones place, then the square root, the perfect square root, does not exist. And if a number ends with 1, 4, 5, 6 or 9 in the ones place, then the number will have a perfect square root. So here we have some examples of square roots. For 1 to uh, 400. One to, um, so square root of 1 is 1. Square root of 400 is equal to 20, meaning 20 multiplied by 20. 2400 and we saw the the properties right we have zeros you have a perfect square of 20. here we have um square root of 196 where it ends with six and we have a perfect square of 14. if you look at all the square roots we do not have any ending with eight no two 
nor three, neither seven. So they will not form perfect swims.